Okay, we're having a little bit of fun here. My opponent is playing, looks like Bogmara. We're just in casual mode here. And we got a three. Well, let's roll it up again. I'll take first. Let's draw some cards, see what we get. All right. In our game, we've got uh, a one drop and a two drop. I will keep this. And our opponent is playing Bagmara. So the Mikhail may be backbreaking. Uh, we'll play out this quest and pass. See if this can help us find an Alec or something. Although Alec is not particularly great in this board. We do have two more quests to trigger. A V brand, which. I don't know if I'm going to use my... Okay, opponent stashing a guy. We've got a stash trigger. We could have done that, but I'd rather use my mana to complete some quests and see if it can push us to an endgame. Okay, Rosalind, he's going to take three. Let's see if he has another part of this Bogmara combo, or if he's all done. Okay, opponent's pinged me. Looks like he's going to put some guys into play for free. If he doesn't have the lesson, then we get to Mikhail's board. Even if he does have the lesson, we have two guys for it. Okay, we got another resource and we have an Ashnar. I will take the Ashnar. We'll bottom the other two. So Ashnar into my hand. Let's untap, draw. Another V brand. Boy, I don't think that's gonna play a role this game. I think we maybe just make a 1-1. One, one. Although he just gets to eat the 1-1s, one, huh? I think I'm happy with that. I just want him to tap his guy sideways. If we play Ashnar, eat your 3-2, then you have to trade one of these three twos into my Ashnar, then I get to have a Mikhail afterwards. I like where that's going. I, I like having the... Although the other line is that I play a 1-1 one, one and an Ashnar, kill this kill this 3-2, then this can kill an Ashnar, or it can kill my 1-1. One, one. Just puts them in a bad spot, a lot, of the, a lot of the alternatives here. So I think I'm just going to do that. Let's create a token. And we'll just play our own Ashnar out. Although if I kill this Warlock, he can't lessen it, but I don't think he had a lesson. <laughs> I think you, you just definitely do that. It would have been better at this point to cast the Dwarf on No, no, because we, we found the Ashnar off of the concerted efforts. Otherwise, we'd be drawing, like, Vindicator's brand number three. Not not the matchup for that card. We just need to slow the pace down. Let's get him to commit some stuff to the board, clear it up, and then we can clean it up with Mikhail's. Could have also committed these Mikhail's earlier. Uh, could have played a Berta out, but he can just trade into the Berta for nothing. Alright, so we trade guys there. That's what we expected. We got the two for one out of it. Ah, oh, Dark bargained me. Boy, that, that's showing up a little late. Well, you can take one of my Mikhails. I, I'm going to put this Berta in play. Hope that I get to play her. Otherwise, we will play a weapon. Start attacking your guys that way. Alright, opponent's going to take two. We'll take two here. All right, board's clear. Ooh, Perdition's Blade. I guess we'll just... 
We can just play Berta. Go. This preserves our life total the best. Is P Blade ping this attack you for two? Boy, I don't want both Vindicators brands. So maybe we just play one of these face down as a resource, play the Berta, and then he has to deal with the Berta, and then we get to go next turn into P Blade plus Mikhail. We get a lot of a lot of opportunities there. I want to get the Berta in play. I don't, think he can, I don't think he can really kill that. Mikhail's going to be a huge punish. Even if he takes the Mikhail here, like, P-Blade's easy. We have, we have a nice set of turns here. I think we can just P-Blade this. P-Blade is Perdition's Blade. Pink that, it dies. We'll take two. Here's our flip, by the way. Discard a warrior. My weapons get plus three attack. I can't dual wield in this deck, so it's never really going to be that great. It's Broderick plus Spy. So we take five. He gets to draw a card. Uh, all right, this is a good turn. So I don't think we actually attack with P-Blade. We're going to play Quest, and we will P-Blade ping this thing down. I guess we attack his hero first. Why don't we do that? P-Blade will kill this. Mikhail will kill. I'll draw a card. Great. Tarathus Diversion, not going to have a lot of targets here. Let's just play our Corkies out. And I do like... Just play Mikhail, make you deal with that, and play the P-Blade, kill your other guy. Alright, Mikhail deals two to this guy when he untaps. Next turn, we're set up to attack for two plus the two from the Ashnar. That's four. Looks like my opponent's getting in four, three. And then we will flip the top card. That is not an ally. I don't know if I'll be playing this. This lets him really attack for a lot. It gives my opponent assault four every turn. All right, opponent's passing. Let's draw. We knew it was Strife. Boy, I really don't feel like playing Strife. I'm already down 15 health. He's going to take two. So we can play Ashnar and just kill it. We take another three. We can run Berta into it. Leave her at one health so he can run into it with his hero. That doesn't seem like it would work well either. Although we have to use our, our own our own health total as well. Uh, we are either going to... Basically, we're either going to attack into this thing, take another three, put me at 11 health left. But then we have like hard control of this board. That gives him a Broderick attack where he can run it into Berta. Yeah, although, what are we spending our mana on? We can go, we can draw from this, go back up to three resources. Well, we go back up to four. We'd have three left over after we draw. Uh, then we just, like, Ashnar, attack for four. 
Ashnar lets us kill this right away and then hit our opponent for four, putting him at ten. We're only a couple cards away from just death then with no way to heal. Don't think we're playing Strife this game. Just unless we're going to win the game with it. We could go bird in, bang, it dies to Mikhail, then he has to attack here, but then we get to swing in for weapon plus Ashnar trigger. I think I like that. Basically sacrifice the Berta so that I can keep pressure on the board. I think I'm okay with that. Leaves my life total nice and high. Okay, so we're just swinging in for two. And then Ashnar, four. Ashnar, four, four. Pass to my opponent. Oh, I meant to attack with my Mikhail. Oops, that was an accident. All right, well, we should be up two damage. I'm not going to rewind or go through any of that stuff. All right, that's why we keep our life total high. Uh, looks like he's going to get in for five. That's that's good. Well, we have nine health left. We're not really that close to lethal. We did miss two from our Mikhail on accident. I think for him it's obvious to kill my Berta, but maybe the damage just matters here. The second strife. I don't think I'm playing that one. Uh, I will go ahead and place a Corky's. Let's see what my opponent does. Let's swing in for two at his hero. Will he let me draw? Guess this punishes me if I draw the Elec here. I did not. There is a flip for our warrior though. How much? Can we kill our opponent now? Uh, this guy gets to get in for two. And I missed two last turn. We'll see if that matters, if I can keep him off lethal. Another two. 16, so he has... Out of 28, he has 12 health left. This is attack for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 with the flip. So we can pay 1, 2, 3 to play Strife. I attack for three more, so I attack for three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five for my weapon. Yeah, so that's five from my assault, five from the weapon. That's ten. I need to deal twelve. Heroic throw is an additional four. I think that's it, right? Just discard heroic throw at you. Ping you for four. There. Okay, that's game now. All right, we'll discard that guy. My weapons have plus three attack now. So that swings for five, plus I have an additional assault two. GG. All right, well, we went just a little bit faster, and we kept our life total up, and that ended up mattering. Speed games, those were pretty quick. Perdition's Blade was real effective. Imagine this is even better with an Elec out. 
Okay, we actually do have a sideboard for this. We'll bring in another Mikhail. I don't think I want Pummel. It's expensive. Don't want Scourge either. Might take one Scourge. Uh, Vindicator's brand is real slow. Let's get rid of all three Strifes. Signed in Blood. Uh, we'll bring in another Scourge over that. We got all the Mikhails. What's up here? Chippers. Yeah, I'll take some allies. I'd rather have allies that attack than quests that hang out. So we'll get rid of Teratha's Diversion. We have two Scourges. Got rid of one Vindicator's Brand. We have some resource. We have three resources, a Mikhail and an early removal spell. I will I will keep this hand. No turn one play. I think I'll just make you know my my heroic throw is really awesome to kill Teratha, so if he has something else that would that would be a bummer. I think we're just going to I would like to do that now. I don't want to wait too long. Uh, we can Hailstorm. Discard the Hailstorm with Heroic Throw to just clear the board. Gotta keep my life total up. Alright. Well, that was not a not a ferocious opener for my opponent. Just Warlock with no flip and, and a stash guy. We got rid of all that, so that tempo's already gone. We have a Mikhail for the next big deal. Okay, a couple more guys. Voodoo Mask, I don't know what that's going to name. All right, the Assault 3, Heroic Strife. Okay, I think that's the uh, Assault 3 card. That's all right. This can't attack my Mikhail, so I might just play it out. Now they have to deal with it while it's in play. They have a Hero Flip, and I don't know what else they have that does damage to creatures. Do I gain much by playing this Alec now? I don't have any triggers for it yet. I could just put a Mikhail in play so that this guy starts taking damage when he attacks. It's probably not safe in my hand, so it's probably better to just go ahead and play the Mikhail out, since I have nothing set up to... Uh, I don't have any ways to trigger this Elec anytime soon. I mean, Elec plus... Elec plus Hailstorm is pretty great. Don't, don't, get me, don't get me wrong there. We'll take two. Take two from Blood Soul. Opponent's got some card draw ready to go. That's fine. He says pass it up. Here's a Scourge for the... what will eventually be a Roderick in the yard. We'll eat it up later. Three resources untapped. I don't know what my opponent's got over there. We don't have a lot we could do. We could play Elec. But again, doesn't do anything. I'm thinking we just attack his hero for two. I can't think of a lot of things that punish me for doing that, so I'm just going to put some damage on the board here. And we'll just play this Vindicator's Brand. So we have a weapon in play. Can't swing with it, and I'm okay with that. Uh, what we have the opportunity to is next turn, untap, pay two for Elec, and we have two mana left over, which will mean we'll have an Eye of the Storm ready to go to kill whatever we want. Ping me for one.
Okay, opponent's learning. Looks like that was his play for turn two. Or was this turn three? He meant to basically do the combo then. And that's all right. Um, I mean, had I known that was coming, I would have done something else to try and protect this Alec. My opponent doesn't necessarily know that. Not this Alec, but this Mikhail. That guy just gets to trade and kill my Mikhail. Um, that's not really the way we're doing that, though. We will just have to see. Okay, now it's my opponent's turn. He's pinging me. There we go. He's doing it. Yeah, it's not going to work out well for him. We get to Eye of the Storm his board. And then... I guess Vindicators brand his face. I'm not going to attack any of these guys. We took out all those strifes, so this card's no good. Plus, I think he would. I feel like he would want that. Yeah, we get to trigger Alec next turn and smack for five. Ooh, Blood Soul. Lots of things. Lots of things. Wow, we can't even kill all of them. This is nuts. I mean, what are the chances here? Okay. Well, so much for the Broderick plan. There's no Brodericks. We drew both Scourges, man. Okay, so it's pay two, Alec. All right, we'll play our Alec, and then we will pump this up. Trigger our Elec. All right, what do we want to do with this turn? Um, we will use our Eye the Storm. This guy will die to Mikhail. One, two, three, four. Oh, all these will die to Mikhail except Blood Soul. But he can't even attack my hero, so we will use this opportunity to smack my opponent's face for five. So let us do that first. Two to my opponent. Get on the board there. Mikhail's nuts. We'll attack for five with the Elec trigger. There you go. Pass my opponent. Okay, well, we we wrecked our opponent's board there. We're in the lead. We've got an Elec and a weapon. We've got uh, opponents damaging himself to draw cards. He still has no way to kill the Mikhail that's going to continually wreck his board. He just fell behind tempo, didn't know his, his play earlier with how Twilight Vanquisher worked. And We'll take three. Opponent's going to heal up another three here. But we're definitely under some pressure. It's hurting. This guy's going to die to Mikhail now. We're doing our best to make it a control matchup. I think what we'll do is go ahead and complete concerted efforts here. It's free. Get a mana advantage. We've got a Berta, another Mikhail, and a Perdition's Blade. I don't know if my opponent can beat two Mikhails. Berta gives me a draw engine, but I'm 
I don't know. I'm kind of happy to just have another Mikhail. I think that card's nuts in this matchup. Yeah, let's draw for the turn. We got a Mortal Strike. All right, we're going to do some damage. Let's, uh... Let's just go ahead and trigger the Elec. Go ahead and send in Mikhail at your face for two. We'll play another Mikhail. Okay, that's the first card we actually played. That's for our Eye of the Storm. And then we will attack in with our hero at you for five again. Five. That'll be our second card. This targets you targeting this weapon. So it'll be one. So it's, uh, it's six actually. From Elec Trigger. I guess I could have saved that for my opponent to turn off his healing, but I'm fine with just going deeper there. Mortal Strike's pretty big with the Hero Flip. We're not there at the moment. Yeah, Mikhail. Mikhail's. Yeah, Mikhail's rough there, and he did his work. Good game opponent. It looks like uh, Mikhail in the Agro Warrior does end up beating Bogmara, especially if the plays are non-optimal.